the fuck is that? People are afraid of greatness, which means people are afraid of me. I hate this channel. No! No! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Calm here. Today, we are going to be talking about things that men do that really grind my gears. Like, they really stress me out. They really piss me off. And men, stop doing this, okay? I hope you don't mind if you're watching this. And if you're a woman, you probably know a man that do these things. Just send this video to him because we're talking to you. You, you in the back. We're talking about you. Make sure you follow me on my social media. I have Instagram, which I upload on at least once a week. And I have Twitter, which I'm starting to upload on a bit more frequently. So you get to see more of this, more of this. This hot mess that you see here, you get to see more. Look at you, you're greedy. We're gonna start with a hot one. Number one, don't befriend me if you like me. Now, it's a big difference between me and you were friends and all of a sudden you realize you like me. There is a big difference between you falling for me as we are friends for a long period of time and you liking me from jump and trying to friend friend me up. Now, friend friend me up, slang, Jamaican patois basically, is when someone's trying to become friends with you and nice you and back, be all nice with you, but they have ulterior motives. It's not that you're trying to be good friends with me or a good person. You're trying to befriend me because you have ulterior motive. That is called disrespect. Why would you want to be my friend knowing you want to be anything more than my friend? I don't think I've ever befriended anyone I like. I don't care. I don't give one fuck. I'm not doing it because it puts you in an awkward position because that person's gonna go out and date. That person's gonna go out, see who they're seeing, come back, tell you all about it because we're friends. Then when I'm shocked that you tell me you like me, all of a sudden you want to play it off as if I'm acting crazy. Excuse me, you're a psychopath. You have just befriend me you're wearing this cloak trying to call it friendship when really it's called being disrespectful why are you doing that who raised you can i speak to them can i speak to the manager please i want to speak to the manager because i don't know how that plan works out in your head oh, i'm gonna befriend her and then i'm gonna tell her she's so pretty and then i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do that and then she's gonna fall in my lap what's gonna happen is i'm gonna block you i'm gonna violate you then i'm gonna block you because you violated me when you're my friend, I don't even see how you can see me in that way. Oh, I've liked you from day one. You mean the day when you asked me if you could be my friend? That day, on that day, that very same day. So you've been lying from the jump. You've been lying from day one. Hmm. What does it feel like to be a liar? I can't relate, I just want to know. What does it feel like to be a absolute liar? Cause I can't relate at all. Number two, I don't want to sound childish, but to me, this is actually childish when boys send their friends to talk to you on their behalf. Is he, your, is he your coach? Why is he speaking to me? Oh, my friend over there, he likes you and would you... Okay, so why isn't he over here? So when we go on a date, it's gonna be me, you and him. When we get married, it's gonna be me, you and him. If I scare you so much that you can't come and talk to me, I don't want to get to know you. Why are you sending some, why are you sending your, your boyfriend over to come talk to me? If this has never happened to you, it's almost like if I wanted you to come to my birthday party, I would send someone else to go and ask you while I am in range so I could hear your response. Excuse me, <laughs> how can I get to know you when you sent someone else? I'm gonna get to know your friend now, just to upset you, just to rub you a little different because you're gonna learn your lesson. And I don't want people to be like, oh, but I'm shy, I don't know how to talk to girls. We do not have time for that. We do not have time for you to be shy. And I say we as in people on earth, we can die at any moment in time. And really, if you're gonna choose to be anything, why would you choose to be shy? I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm not shy. I'll speak when I wanna speak. If I see someone I like on the show, I'll be like, hey, hey boo, you look cute, uh, you know? Why on God's green earth, do you want to be shy and then send your friend who's not shy to come and talk to me? No, I'm sorry. I did the math really quick and it's not adding up. It's not making the nice round number because that makes no sense to me. It's like playground shit, like, oh, I know someone who likes you. Okay, well, I know someone who doesn't care. Me. Number three, compliments that come with attachments. Now, when I say attachments, these are compliments that come with conditions that you have to meet in order to receive the compliments, i.e. If a guy goes to me, oh my gosh, you're really pretty, you know, I want to take you out, and I go, oh, you know, no, thank you. Thank you for the compliment, though. And he goes, well, you were ugly anyway. Back this up. So, I'm pretty. I was pretty initially. I was good looking initially. 
but the moment that I didn't agree to your terms and conditions, you, you zipped. I can give a compliment to someone and not need anything back. I give compliments when I think they're due. Like if someone's wearing an outfit that's really put together, I'm like, wow, you look really nice. I'm not saying that to make you feel good. I'm saying that because I want you to know that I think it looks good. I don't care what you do with that information. When you give me compliments and I don't agree to your terms and conditions, what you're initially saying is, I'm only pretty as long as I'm doing what you want me to do. I'm only good looking when I'm being a yes man. I'm only all of these things to you when I'm doing what you want me to do. It doesn't sound like you want a girlfriend, it sounds like you want a pet. If you want someone to come when you're calling them, that's a pet. What the, what the fuck? Imagine, imagine really looking at an adult and being like, I want you to be everything that I'm saying you are and do what I want you to do. Kind of sounds like a slave to me. Don't quote me, but I do think that's a slave. Number four, touching will get you touched. All right, so I don't know why I'm saying this in 2021. Being like, oh my gosh, you look so nice. Or come here, give me a hug. Why are your hands on me? And it's not even about it being COVID times. Why are your hands, a stranger's hands, someone I don't know hands, on me? I will cut it off. I don't have a problem. Prison sounds lovely this time of year. Why are you being difficult? Why are you acting like this? Like, I understand, like, you see all of this, you're like, wow, I want to touch. But this is not an interactive book, my love. You need to sit on back and look, but do not touch. Because if you touch me, I'm going to touch you back. And it's not going to be nice. I'm so sick of it. And they'll try and play it off like, oh, no, I just bumped your shoulder. I'm going to bump you. You don't want to bump me. Number five, not reading the room. When you decide that you're going to make anyone who is a female uncomfortable, I don't appreciate it. Oh, my God, that big body thing over there. I didn't need to hear all of that. I didn't need to hear that. You think girls with fat asses don't know their asses are fat when they're licking down everything? They know. They are aware. When I'm walking and everything's bouncing and jiggling and swaying and doing its thing, I know it's fat. I don't need you to say what well, we all know. What are you doing? Read the room. There's a lot of big bad girls here. You don't have to scream and shout this. You could just go over there and be like, you know what, your figure's looking nice. You look healthy. You look good. Why are you acting like a hooligan? Did someone not have home training? And for the last one, it is men that want to have conversations with your body parts. Now, what I mean by that is I am a busty girl. I am also short, so I'm already, you know, you're already looking down at me. I also have nipple piercings, which means whenever I'm not wearing a bra, which is all of the time, my nipples are looking at you. Can't control them, we move past it. When you're speaking to me and you're purposefully like avoiding eye contact and staring at the body parts that are hanging off of me, it's incredibly disrespectful. I don't get to leave this at home. I don't get to leave my ass at home. I don't get to drop these things off, but you could leave your disrespect at home. We're all confused why you keep bringing it to the function. It's called being rude. It's called being disrespectful. Do you stare at your mum's breast? I just want to know. Oh, okay. So you can disrespect anyone you don't know that's not family, but us strangers, you know, you just use a slight match, just wipe your fucking feet on us. Like, absolutely not. If you've liked this, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on my social media, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Snap out of it.